So, hi everyone, I'm Chris. Uh, in case uh, you guys don't know me, I'm the face of Atelier Solutions. I've been working with uh, Knative uh, for quite a while. Uh, uh, sorry, looks like we actually have timing mode as well. So, did some stuff with uh, GitLab introducing their serverless stuff. Uh, also uh, wrote a Knative uh, runtime uh, using uh, some of the early stuff that TriggerMesh had provided and uh, very recently uh, started working with uh, creating a new meetup uh, within my region of Northern California for CNCF Placer. So hoping to bring at least the cloud native and some of the K -Native, or sorry, the cloud native Knative stuff into uh, a smaller community to uh, grow tomorrow's uh, youth. So uh, I'm going to tell this more as a story. We're going to start off with uh, an idea that I bantered uh, back and forth uh, a couple of years ago as far as uh, trying to find a way of uh, modernizing uh, systems, uh, especially for uh, larger companies. They have their databases. They're more than likely not going to get rid of it, but they still want to go towards the cloud. They want to experiment. They want to do something useful with that data. So. We have an Oracle database. We want to capture the changes that come in for all the normal CRUD operations. So how do you do that? So at the time, we did look at Debezium. It was uh, fairly early in the project. Uh, supported Postgres, MySQL. They'd started playing around with Oracle, but it, it was also very tied to uh, uh, Kafka and Kafka Connect in particular. And one of the awesome things about Knative and Kubernetes in general is that it does break people free from that uh, vendor lock-in. So we decided to, as Seb mentioned in his previous talk, go the Frankenstein route where I wrote a Knative source. It worked, it was very ugly, and trying to set up the installation configuration and tracking all the database changes was just a real pain. So fast forward to uh, about a year ago, and then re-examined the question, looked at Debezium again, and then realized, oh, hey, with Debezium, they've actually broken up uh, part of the Kafka Connect aspect and have decided to uh, start supporting uh, other providers such as Kinesis, Google PubSub, but nothing on the Knative side. So why don't we just go ahead and Knativeify it? And on the plus side, as a part of their breakup of the or the Debezium server component to support these uh, other cloud-based uh, venting systems. They added support for cloud events, which actually helps a lot. But then we also need to containerize it, which for their default install, it ships in Docker. Okay, so that's two out of the three things. The only thing that was missing is a way of being able to take those database changes and uh, stream them out into uh, the Knative pipeline. So that's where it did some slight modification. I submitted a pull request a few months ago. It got accepted and is part of the 1.9 release for Debezium, which now exposes an HTTP uh, client that will uh, stream your database changes into uh, a listening webhook. And this is where the awesomeness of Knative comes in because by exposing something like uh, Ksync, I can now use things like sync binding to uh, pipe to a broker or a trigger wherever. And, okay. So that was pretty much it and with the profit. So for sample integration, which I do have as a part of a, a GitHub uh, repo is, um, pretty much uh, going an on-prem database uh, into a Debezium service, which spits things out to a broker, which uh, leverages uh, Knative's uh, trigger and a Knative service to uh, massage that data, dump it into Redis, where I have another uh, Kubernetes uh, service listening on the back end to report the results. In this case, it's more of a project voting system. But through the process of going through all of this, I mean, uh, the nice thing about Java and Quarkus and a lot of the work and or that has gone into the ecosystem for the last 20 some odd years is that you have a properties file, you can expose it as environment variables, you can uh, set it in a config map, you can put it into uh, or pretty much uh, directly into your uh, deployments. Works out great. Unfortunately, getting the two to play together is still a little bit up in the air, so protecting secrets is a bit of a balancing act. But it does also go to show that with Knative itself, it does act as like providing the Lego bricks with everything listening on a common port, 
speaking cloud event, which makes it easier to uh, pluck data in and out of. But there's, it still requires a bit of work to uh, go through. Some of the functions work uh, that was discussed earlier today will help. Uh, some of the transformation stuff, especially with regard to uh, exchanging uh, payloads uh, going from a source to a target, is still requires some heavy customization. I know uh, Trigger Mesh exposes uh, some transformers like uh, uh, JQ to translate between uh, JSON objects to uh, spit them out into a common format. But it's still making progress. And the one drawback as far as this approach goes is that in the case with Debezium, you still need to have a primary instance that's kind of watching out for all the changes, otherwise additional instances, changes will clobber each other. And you, it does still require that Debezium itself have access to the on-prem database. But once you get it from the database into your cluster, you can still stream it wherever which way you want. So that's pretty much it for the spiel. If you want to learn more, I've got the contact info as well as the place where you can uh, pull the code. And that's pretty much all I got. So thank you. Thank you, Chris.